Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're diving into a really wild idea. What if everything you see, our entire universe, is basically just the echo of a single cosmic heartbeat? We're going to unpack a theory that claims this one simple rhythm could actually solve some of the biggest head scratchers in all of physics. So let's just jump right into the deep end with one of the biggest mysteries out there. What's the answer to this question? Well, honestly, it's one of the most humbling facts in science. We have absolutely no clue. I mean, look at this. Everything we can see and touch, all the stars, the galaxies, you, me, everything, is crammed into that little 5% sliver. The other 95%? It's a total enigma. We've given it names, of course. There's dark matter, which seems to be the invisible scaffolding holding galaxies together. And then there's dark energy, some kind of mysterious force that's actively pushing the entire universe apart. So how in the world did we get here? Here's the plan. First, we'll look at why our standard model of the universe has these enormous gaps. Then we're going to explore that cosmic heartbeat idea, a theory called Dahan's looping motion, and see how it claims to tie all these loose ends together with one single elegant solution. All right, first things first, let's set the stage. Why are scientists so sure that 95% of reality is just missing? Well, it's because our two best theories for explaining the universe are absolutely brilliant, but they're also fundamentally broken. See, on one hand, you've got Einstein's general relativity. It's beautiful, and it perfectly describes gravity, planets, galaxies, all the big stuff. Then on the other hand, you have quantum mechanics, which is our rule book for the bizarre world of tiny particles. The problem, they hate each other. When you try to make their equations work together, they just break. They spit out nonsense answers like infinities. And this massive conflict leaves these huge gaping holes in our cosmic story. It means we have no real explanation for the very beginning, the Big Bang singularity. That's the point where all our math just collapses. And it means that to make our observations of the universe fit our broken equations, we've basically had to invent these placeholders, dark matter and dark energy. They're names we give to the mysteries we can't solve. Okay, so physics is in a bit of a jam. How do we fix this? Well, a brand new theory suggests we should maybe start over, not with super complex math, but with a really simple, almost intuitive idea. This is the question that started it all for independent researcher Jonathan Duhon. He was working from a simple premise. You can't get something from nothing. So maybe the universe wasn't born in one single impossible flashpoint. What if, instead, it's constantly being woven into existence, beat by beat, by some kind of fundamental vibration? And that is the absolute core of what's called Duhan's looping motion, or DLM. It says that reality isn't this static background that things just happen in. No, reality itself is an active process. It's more like a movie being projected one frame at a time. And this single looping motion is the projector creating every single frame. As Duhan himself puts it, every single tick of this cosmic clock generates a tiny piece of space and pushes time forward. Think about what that means. Space-time isn't the box that contains reality. Space-time is the result of this fundamental process. It's being built moment by moment. Okay, that's a pretty radical idea. But for it to be more than just a cool thought, it has to actually work. It has to solve those problems that plague current physics, right? Like, how does it avoid those nonsensical infinities we talked about? Well, it does it with something you can think of as a two-calculator system. For almost everything in the universe, it uses the normal calculator, the standard laws of physics we all know and trust. But for those cosmic extremes, like the moment of the Big Bang, where our current math gives us a division by zero error, it switches to a special calculator, one with built-in rules that simply don't allow infinities to happen, keeping the equations totally sane. So what is this thing that's actually oscillating? The theory proposes that everything, and I mean everything, comes from one single source, a universal field it calls the phi field. A good way to picture it is to think of the ocean. The phi field is the ocean. It's the one thing that's literally everywhere. And all the stuff we experience, gravity, light, matter, it's all just different kinds of waves and ripples in that one single ocean. And this is just a beautiful way to think about it. It really gets to the elegance of the idea. Just like a single vibrating violin string can create this whole rich range of different musical notes, the different vibrations or harmonics of this single phi field create all the different particles and forces that make up our entire universe. Okay, so we've got one field, 
one vibration, creating everything. That's a neat idea. But let's bring it back to the big mystery. How does this possibly explain that 95% of the cosmos we can't see, dark matter and dark energy? This, right here, is where the theory gets really clever. In the DLM model, dark energy isn't some weird new thing we have to find. It's just the leftover energy from that very first cosmic beat. It's like after the Big Bang's violent start, things calm down, but they left behind this faint, constant hum vibrating through the universe. And it's this gentle, persistent hum that's providing the pressure pushing space itself apart, causing the accelerated expansion that we see. So what about dark matter, the universe's missing mass? Well, the theory says it's not some exotic new particle we have to go hunting for. Instead, it's just other faint vibrations of that very same phi field. Think of them as residual modes that weren't quite energetic enough to form into a proton or an electron, but they still have energy, which means they still have gravity. They're like the quiet, unheard notes in the cosmic symphony that still add weight and structure to the whole performance. A beautifully simple idea for the dark universe is one thing, but hey, this is science. For a theory to be taken seriously, it has to make predictions, specific predictions we can actually go out and look for. And DLM isn't shy about this. It makes some incredibly specific high-stakes predictions. It predicts the exact mass ratios of neutrinos, these tiny ghost-like particles. It predicts we should see specific gravitational wave echoes after black holes smash together. It even predicts a universal rate for quantum collapse. These aren't vague ideas. They are hard targets that our experiments can actually aim for and either prove right or prove wrong. And here's the real kicker. The theory claims it gets to all these predictions with zero, and I mean zero, adjustable parameters. In physics, a lot of theories have these little fudge factors, knobs you can turn and tweak to make your theory fit the data. DLM claims it has none. Either its predictions derived from first principles are right, or the entire theory is wrong. It's an all-or-nothing bet. And that just leaves us with this one truly profound thought to chew on. What if this vast, complex, and let's be honest, baffling universe, with all its quantum weirdness and its cosmic darkness, what if it's all just the rich, beautiful, and complex music being played by one simple, endlessly repeating rhythm? <laughs>